Hello ladies and gentlemen, you can do come here and welcome to Rainbow Six Siege Operator Class. We'll take a look at a breakdown of different classes and unique abilities of both the attackers and the defenders. First we're going to take a look at the attackers for, and I would like to apologize, I didn't have a chance to actually sit down and look in depth for each character and the unique abilities. I'm going to go based off memory and what we have here. So first off, let's look at the attacker side. The first class we're going to look at is the Recruit. The Recruit is a generic all-around character and if you're like brand new to game it's probably best to try out the Recruit first to get a feel of the game before you look, take a look at other characters and see their unique abilities. So the Recruit primary weapon has a FAMS G2 and it's a nice um, rifle to use and the, for the handgun it has a Model 586 and has breaching charges where you can break down the defender's walls with the breach attacks and it has a stun grenade which is good to throw in as soon as you place a breach charge and blow it up uh, throw a, a stun grenade stun whoever's in room because the way rainbow six siege is uh, there's a lot of people camping one room protecting the hostage or defending the hostage and the stun grenade is good to knock a couple people out and most likely you'll get more than one because they tend to bunch up so that's the recruit it's a nice good generic character to go with next person we're gonna look at is twitch when I first saw this name I couldn't stop laughing because I was um, big on twitch streaming so I had to pick him often so what his unique ability is shock drone now I'm gonna show you some footage of it while I'm talking about what this shock drone does so his shock drone ability uses a drone to disable traps or even shock enemies so in the middle of fight what you can do is deploy this drone drive it into the enemy's defense and actually shock him. Uh, for me it took a couple times, not sure it was a glitch or I was doing it wrong, but after a while I was able to shock him and it stuns him for a little bit and then I can go in here and take him out. So just shocked him right there and move him up because I know he's right behind there and he's trying to crawl away and that's how you can take him out. So it can be deployed during the match system and it's quite a handy tool since no one's looking at the shock drone during this time during match since they're focusing on where the enemy is. His other abilities is the Famous G2 similar to the Recruit and the difference between his pistol is N, N, excuse me, NP9 and he also has breach charges. So that wraps up uh, Twitch right there, twitch.tv slash nukemdugum, shameless plug, and let's look at the next attacker. The next guy we have is Sledge and he is a lot of fun. But what I like is his sledge hammer ability where he takes out his hammer and just breaks through a defense really easily, really quick. So it's probably good to have him send uh, go lead a charge breaking through a door if you don't have any breach charges. Or if you know the door is secure, have him just break it down and then send a shield guy right on after. He's definitely a close range explosive person. So he has his shotgun uh, 591A1 and his secondary pistol is a 226 MK25 and he has a frag grenade. Not everyone has a frag grenade or flashbang, but if you guys need to throw a grenade in, Sledge is your guy. And here we have is Thatcher. His unique ability is an EMP grenade which disable electronics in range. So the defenders can have cameras in the area or they have uh, a unique equipment that disrupts enemies radar or makes their screen a little bit blurry. So you can go ahead and see this right here. Th toss a grenade to disable anything electronics that may interfere with your aggression. For his primary, he uses a K33 NATO and a secondary 226 MK25 and breaching charge. So he doesn't have any other grenades or any uh, flashbang to help you through, but he does have his EMP to help take out any electronical interference. Next we have is Ash. So far she is the only female that was available for us to play in the alpha. So she has a breach launcher where she can fire a breach charge which burrows into the surface and automatically detonates. The only thing confusing about that for me is that she also has breaching charge. If you have a grenade breaching launcher, why would you need also breaching charge? The only way I can assume is she runs out of breach charges for her launchers and therefore she gets regular ones. But I think they could add some different uh, item for the last part. But with that said, she also has an... Uh, Automatic gun as well as the G36C and the M45 Muse OC and then breaching charges as well. Here we have is Thermite and he has exothermic charge which basically takes out reinforced walls. This is good because the defenders can reinforce certain walls where they may consider is your 
their most vulnerable point and he can take them out for an extra location for his uh, teammates to breach in and try to secure the hostage. He is a close range person as well and has an auto shotgun and he has a pistol, the M45 Moose OC and he has a frag grenade so he's kind of close and uh, explosive guy and good for leading the charge as well so that takes care of the final class in the attackers now let's take a look at what classes are in the defenders similar to attackers the defender has a generic character called the recruit and he has a p90 and his has high customization option the duffel bag and his secondary is np99 now what i like is his two last abilities which is a bob wire and deployable shield here we have the recruit deploying his bob wire which slows down the enemy tremendously whoever walks through it it's good for choke points when they walk up and just to slow the enemy down and his second uh his last ability is my favorite which is the deployable shield my favorite ability is the deployable shield what's great about the shield is uh you can't penetrate it or really destroy it uh, it's good for defense uh if you're defending a certain area or it's great for blocking off small choke points where the enemy would actually have to jump over it in order to cross a certain area uh we found a, a, a small section in plane where there's a little tunnel or vent you can go in and you put a deployable shield there you block off a complete entrance to the whole area so it's very good for choke point more than defense but you can do it for defense as well. This is Rook and his unique ability is Armor Plate Bag. This is a basically a support ability where he deploys a bag and his whole team can pick it up and granting them extra armor for his whole team to use, which is great for defense. Make sure Rook deploys his bag and everyone on the team picks it up. It makes a huge advantage for your whole team to get this extra armor. He uses a P90 and a Model 586 and he also has a deployable shield in case you guys need more uh, choke points or a place where you can defend and hold up. This is my favorite character to look at, uh, Smoke. Uh, maybe I just have a weird fetish for gas masks, but I just really like it. But his ability is basically damage over time. He can use poison gas ability and also has ability to uh, have people choke within the smoke radius. His main weapon is FMG9 and his pistol is 226 MK25 and he has nitro cell. Next we have up is Mute. His unique ability is Jamming Device. Basically he can set up a jammer where it disrupts the whole enemy's uh, radar or any electronics. So let's say they put uh, a drone out or there's a drone area, it would uh, cause a little jamming signal so they won't be able to see the area as clear. He uses a MP5K for his main primary and his secondary is a 226 MK25. He also has a deployable shield. As you can see, castle means business. He has a bulletproof barricade, which uh, basically bulletproof barricade, and it's more resistant than standard uh, walls or reinforced walls. So uh, it's harder to breach this wall unless they have a special ability. Uh, you should set this up in area in your room where it's most vulnerable and you don't want to get breached or charged. So I would set that in that location. He has a UMP5 for his automatic and then a uh, 5.7 USG for a secondary and he also has a deployable shield last but not least is we have pulse and he's probably one of the most important characters to have on your defender class because of his ability the heartbeat sensor and he can detect heartbeats in a short distance through obstacle let me show you what I mean so it's extremely preferable that someone has a microphone communicate their team where the enemy is hiding here you can see pull up the heartbeat and you can see the sensor right there so you can tell an enemy if there is above you on the opposite side of the room and communicate that to your team. So his main weapon is an auto shotgun and an M45 for his secondary and he can put down bob wire to slow down enemy. I hope you guys enjoy this coverage. Tell me what you guys think was going to be your favorite class and what you're excited to play and which side. Alright, check out my uh, review impressions and check out my gameplay. Follow me on Twitch. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Whoa, whoa, wait. She's down. I have to revive her. Cover me. I got you. Get out of here. Oh, I, I, I'm serious. I'm being lit up here, bitch. Uh, you got me. Alright, I got the window. Go.